Whew, y'all. This is Krista from CNJ's Homestead Cafe, whatever you want to call it. CNJ stands for Krista and Jim. <sighs> Let me tell y'all what I've been doing. I'm out here this morning. It's Friday, right before Memorial Day. Uh, my daddy was a veteran. He didn't die in war, but he is dead. Anyways, so a couple weeks ago, I did a video and I told y'all when I was foraging that my riding lawnmower broke. Well, y'all, I'm like Captain Destructo with a riding lawnmower. I can't see where I'm going. I drive too fast. I listen to music while I'm doing it. So I get super involved in my songs and singing and not really paying attention to what I'm doing. And I wreck it just about every time I drive it, but I enjoy myself so much, I won't let anybody else do it. So there's that. Well, I broke it for good. I freaking uh, knocked the the deck off of it. So now we're using it like a tractor, which is great because I've always needed some kind of yard cart to get around. It's a Husqvarna. My ex-husband bought it. I never liked it. I really like my Cub Cadet. If one of y'all have a Cub Cadet that you'd like to donate to my cause, I would be glad to take it. But the reality is, like I said, I'm Captain Destructo with a riding lawnmower. I'm just really dangerous to myself and others, especially my plants. And since I'm planting so much in the yard, I decided, and I want to save my weeds, some of them, not all of them, but some of them that are useful. I decided to get me a little push mower because if we can ever progress, we're going to cover everything in wood chips anyways. So, because I'm just tired of grass, y'all, and all I got is a bunch of weeds, and I don't want to see that grass is a waste of crop to me. Um, so, all that being said, when I was walking around mowing today, I want to show y'all what I found. It's really cool. Now, of course, y'all know I don't know how to turn my camera around, so it's because I'm stupid. Eventually, one day, I'll figure out how to make a better video. But for now, this is the best I can do. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show y'all what I'm talking about. Oh, well, maybe I'll just do it this way. Y'all see this tree right here behind me? Okay, that right there. Y'all, that's a gorgeous maple tree right there I planted. I don't know, 10 years ago maybe, maybe not even that long. Anyways, it was a little bitty old twig like that and we planted it out here. I don't know why, it's out in the very front of my yard. You see my house is way back there. That's where we do most of our growing up there. So, wasn't really thinking about it too much. Hadn't ever really paid too much attention. Don't know if this is the first year that this has happened because I mow like a mad woman and I don't pay attention. But here's the reality. My maple tree is a mama. She has had babies. Look, there's one right there. Here's one right here. There's one right there. Here's one right here. Look, there's several right there. A bunch of them over there. Y'all, if I left this area alone, I would have a maple forest in just a few years. So, all that being said, I'm gonna let these grow. And I'll be selling maple trees, y'all. If anybody would like to get one of these gorgeous trees from me, hit me up. Um, we're gonna be digging these up and potting them up and selling them for, I don't know, five, ten dollars a piece, mostly just to pay for the labor of digging them up. Because we like to spread this beautiful tree around. You don't see very many pretty beautiful maple trees. Not to mention, it draws woodpeckers. Let me show y'all something real cool. You can't touch it because bees stay in there too. I know, I know, I know. I'm not bugging you. But look, if y'all can see behind me, there's holes. I see you, bee. I'm not bothering you. See, there's holes all in there. I don't know if y'all can blow it up or whatever, but it's woodpecker holes. And bees go in there. I'm sure this is sap or honey or something coming out of there. Me and Sawyer patted it the other day and all these little bees came out. So that's where my bees are hiding. 
anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm walking around mowing my grass, seeing where all my essential nutrients are. And we'll grow those patches at a further date. The coolest thing about my little lawnmower is it doesn't cut as low. So some of the little wildflowers are not getting cut, but it's cutting the longer stuff around it. So that's kind of cool. I have me a little field of wildflowers growing. Now y'all, I'm in Northwest Florida. Last week, it was 55 degrees. This week, it says it's 85 degrees, but it feels like it's 112. But on the bright side, hopefully, since my ants are healing up, y'all look right back there. That look like that might be a rain cloud. God, please bring some rain. Bring some rain, bring some rain. I've been having to water. I don't have a good water source. If anybody would like to come dig me a well, I'd be glad to promote you on my page, which has three followers. Just saying. I don't have a good water source. I have Pace Water, which I'm not talking trash about my local water company because uh, there's plenty of people that do that. <laughs> Uh, but they gave me a break this year when we had a big water leak. I mean, not a huge break. It still cost me $1,000, but it didn't cost me several thousand dollars, which is what it would have cost me. So, as usual, y'all, we're taking three steps forward here. We're taking two steps back because that's the way it rolls in my life. <sighs> Trudging a little bit at a time. All right, y'all, signing off. I keep on forgetting to say to like and subscribe. I'm not sure where all that's at. Oh, another thing I wanna tell y'all. If y'all are buying black cow and putting it in your garden, stop. This year, uh, my husband made me a raised bed. I don't wanna hear no judgments. Y'all keep it to yourself because I've been fighting this. Don't tell me all the things I should have done because I've already done them. Okay? But let me show you this. Look at this pitiful right here. Pitiful. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. Oh, making a little bit of progress back there, but still pitiful. Okay, so that was the first bed that Jim made me. We went to Home Depot. We bought the most expensive organic raised bed soil and then added... Some black cow to it, not too much. Start it all in together like you're supposed to, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Well, y'all, then I ran out of money. But I still had a bed to fill. So, and you'll see right here, this soil that's in here, it's dry right now because I've quit watering it. But it's black. It looks good. It looks like good soil smells like, oh, no, it's not dry. Look, it's wet. It's black. Don't smell like nothing. Doesn't smell like nothing anything y'all i dug up my venus fly trap right there because it ain't living anyways so i ran out of money and i filled this next bed up with swanee river organic compost that cost me a dollar 98 for uh 40 pounds look at this look at that it's beautiful my blackberries are thriving my time looks nice I just planted this a couple weeks ago. It's growing. I got some sprouts coming up on my ginger right here. My turmeric's a little bit behind it. This was a dollar, dollar ninety-eight a bag for this soil right here. There was no black cow, so I didn't add any into this. We just took our chances with this. What was said, Swanee River organic soil. Well, let me just tell you that I will never buy soil at the store again ever ever because i really believe the soil that's in my own backyard is probably better than this crap i'm fixing to have to dig out all these beds i'm probably gonna throw that soil in the burn pile because i don't or around some stuff that i want to kill anyways because everything that's growing in it is dying nothing I, can, I come out here and i water it i fertilize it i put every soil amendment that you can think of on that in every stage that you could possibly think to do it. I've tested the soil. It's extremely alkaline. 
I bought an acidifier. It did not help. So all that being said, be careful when you're buying soil. You know, they say you get what you pay for, but apparently not always because I got way better plants out of the cheapest soil that was up there. And, oh, look, y'all. Look, there's a ladybug on my leaf right there. So cute. Y'all, this is a tulip poplar. It's tulip tree, yellow poplar. Oh, sorry, ladybug. I didn't mean to disturb you. These leaves, look, at they're so amazing looking. I wish this was edible. I don't think it is. I don't eat things that I can't find out for sure. But... It does have some beautiful large greens that I'd love to make a burrito out of. All right, y'all, while I'm on break, I'll try to get out here and do a little bit more. I've decided this yard's gonna be my boot camp. I need to lose some weight anyways. I'll be 50 in a few months. <sighs> I got a grandbaby I can't keep up with. Time to get off my ass and start doing something for myself. I finally have time, finally. I finally have some time to actually get out in the yard. So that's why we're doing this now, y'all, because time is of the essence. All right. See y'all next time.